Welcome. My name is Kathy, and I'm a digital workplace administrator. I use DWP Studio to create an intuitive self-service experience for end users. In this video, we will go over a few basic concepts when building a page in Digital Workplace Studio. Studio uses various types of containers to help add structure to your page. When you create a new page, the page container will be active. You can see its properties to the left. If you're ever hunting for a specific property, you can collapse or expand all the property groups by holding the Option key and clicking the plus or minus buttons. Next, let's drag a component onto the page. Components like catalog sections and content blocks can occupy the same row using drag and drop. Once on the page, you can adjust the width ratio using the drag handles. Components like catalog sections have minimum sizes defined to display properly when viewed across different device types. If we click the component, we can see some options, including its visibility on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. We can also click the contextual menu button to see additional actions. All Studio components are automatically wrapped in a row container when placed on the page. Rows have their own properties to manage position, background, and border styles. You can use the background to help define specific areas of a page and the spacing properties to manage space around its contents. Rows set on the page level can have their backgrounds extended to fill the browser or cropped to the content area. Now that you've learned some DWP Studio basics, you can get started creating modern, intuitive portal pages without writing code. Learn more DWP Studio capabilities in the next video.